Hey everyone, welcome to the T4 Show video podcast. My name is Michael Manna, and as you can see, I'm in the T4 Show podcasting and video podcasting studio now here in Connecticut. And uh, no podcast today, no audio podcast, but we do have a video podcast. Um, other than that, it's a pretty slow day, and I feel like uh, getting out of the house and doing something. Uh, don't get out of the house very much, but when I do, I like to go out and uh, <laughs> actually... I like to go out and do the same exact thing I do when I'm at home. And no, it's not beat Dave Ciccone in NBA Live 08 on Xbox Live. That's strictly for when I'm in the house relaxing. I actually like to go out and watch movies, same as what I like to do here watching movies. Um, and I figured it'd be a good opportunity to actually review uh, two iPhone apps that have come out. One's free and one's $1.99. So, not a very big investment for both together, uh, but they have unique features and uh, they're not full featured yet, but they're well on their way. And uh, I think I definitely think it would be a good opportunity before I go see a movie to actually look at box office, which is free, and uh, one tap movies. I think one tap movies, let's see. Just downloaded it, let's see what's called. Yep, one tap movies. We're gonna review box office and one tap movies for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Okay, so here we are at the home screen and uh, let's start off with box office first since that's the free application for the iPhone. And I've reset my phone. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Let's try, I'm afraid to, but let's try box office first, see what happens. Got a reset last time, that was weird. Okay, there we go. So, this is set by my zip code here, which I'm gonna go look up here, and search radius is five miles, but obviously you can make that five, 10, 15, 20, 25. That might help you out with the dark night because it's gonna be a chaos there the first day starting 12.01 a.m. on Friday, July 18th, and that's definitely the movie I'm looking forward to. And then you have current current location up here you can hit so you don't have to manually put in your zip code. So let's go back to movies. Now this is pretty cool right here. Uh, this is actually uh, what's called a site called RottenTomatoes.com and it rates them by obviously like you can see tomatoes. And you can see Wally is a 97, Encounters at the End is a 94, Hellboy 2 is an 88. And the list goes on and on. It actually has the hierarchy, or hierarchy as a, of ratings from top to bottom, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, you get Smart Hancock, and uh, you don't mess with the Zohan, and Meet Dave and the Love Guru don't necessarily uh, rate too high. So that's pretty cool. And also you have theaters here, like we had before when we opened up. And there's my local theater. It's showing everything right there. Now, uh, there's no way to buy tickets right now, so if you go to click on, say, Hellboy 2, it shows, uh, you know, like I showed before, the address, the phone number, and all theaters playing this movie, which is pretty cool, but there's no online ticketing purchase, purchases that, that can be made, so that's one shortcoming, but at least you can get the movie times pretty quick on that one. So, that's box office, free in the App Store. Okay, all right, now we're going to try one tap movies let's see if there's a reset on this uh cross your fingers no whammies no whammies no whammies yeah there we go okay and it says one tap of like your current location now this is the app that actually uses gps to get your location so this is a gps enabled application unlike box office which actually uses current location but doesn't have the built-in functionality for using your built-in gps on your iphone 3g Hmm. It's taking a little while. It seems to be slow over edge, but not that bad. It's not that bad. Now this is the local theater that I just looked up before. And there's Hancock, Wally, Hellboy 2. Let's see Hellboy 2 at 115. Let's see what comes up here. It's pretty cool. Now there's a little play button right here. I think it'll play the trailer. See how fast it is over edge. can't assume that it's that fast over edge, but it might not be that bad. 
That's not too bad. Didn't take too long. It's, it's buffering a little bit, but you know what? That's not bad for Edge. It's really not bad for Edge. And I don't believe that this has any ability to buy tickets. Very popular. And here's the cool part about this. Um, you can scroll up and you see the little map. Here the Google Map icon. I can hit Map. And it gives you maps to all the ones in the area. So I do that. It loads it up. I'm not going to show you where I'm at. No, I'm not going to show you where I'm at. <laughs> nope, I'm not going to do it. Let's go back to one tap movies. As you can see here, it lists everything on theaters. No, it's loading right now for popular. What's most popular? Hancock's most pop. Well, it's three stars. Wally's got five. Hellboy's got four. You can see all the star ratings here. Uh, you can also go by ratings, which is pretty cool. Same thing, but just sorts it in a different order. You can go to newest. Which the Incredible Hulk is not the newest. I'm assuming that's, that's loading. Oh, there we go. Okay. Cool and location, obviously. It's not too bad. Well, <laughs> shut itself down. That's a little weird for both of those, but uh, this is the app that costs $1.99. I don't really see much of a difference except for playing the trailers and having the integrated GPS, but you can still use your current location with Box Office to actually get the... Um, your current location and, and know how far the uh, theater is using Google Maps. So it's not too bad. I, I would say you, know, you can get both of them, pay two bucks and be fine, or if you want a free app, use Box Office. And uh, other than the reset, which I don't know what happened there, <laughs> it seems to be a pretty solid app. And uh, One Tap Movie, same deal. Two dollars if you like to watch the trailers and see uh, ratings, uh, then that will be the one for you, especially since it links to Rotten Tomatoes and the IMDB, uh, which I forgot to mention, but it links to the IMDB.com database. So, uh, it's your choice. I think both of them combined make a good uh, combination for finding local movies and, and ratings and such. This is Michael Matter for the T4 Show Video Podcast. Thank you, and best of luck in all your future endeavors.